so in today's tutorial I have to get this out there real quick I am using my new tool set now I just posted a video all about this tool set so you might want to watch that if not you're still gonna you know see what I'm using here but um, they are all bent they're all bent tools now so it's very cool I'm so excited to introduce this new tool set to you I think you're gonna love them you can actually see where you're dotting <laughs> um, but anyway I'm gonna be using this set in this tutorial now if you have my old set of dotting tools don't worry about it I've still got all the colors of those with the right size of the new of the new set too so you'll be fine to follow along either way and here is what we're painting it is a beautiful little stone and I made this stone with my new stone mold number one this is from the dot art depot and this is stone mold number one so if you're looking for this it makes a two and a half inch by one inch stone so this is what the tutorial is going to be on today so if you have a small stone you can absolutely follow along all right grab your stone and your tools and your paints and let's get started all right so here is um, a stone that I cast from my new um, Dot Art Depot stone mold number one and I'm just going to be applying some black matte paint you could use any other color base coat it's totally up to you this is just what I'm going to go with today this is acrylic paint um, and the kneaded eraser is just optional it's just something that I like to use to keep the stone still while I paint it instead of it rolling around on me now this here is a new silicone stencil also from the dollar depot and what I do to find the center of my small stones they don't have a mark the larger stones do uh, but the small ones don't so I just take and measure the stone which I know it's two and a half inches so I just take that and go in half with my compass and so I open my compass to about one and a quarter and then I stick the compass in the middle of my stencil and go ahead and trace on a little bit of a circle so you can find the center of your stone very easily so I thought that was a nice little trick to share now I'm using my new tool set here and this is size 22 this new tool set they are all angled tools very cool absolutely so excited to use them and introduce them to you guys check out this magenta paint that is my very favorite magenta paint on the market love it love it love it all right so you're going to start off with your center dot so go ahead and place your center dot and then you're going to allow this to dry that way you can replace your guideline stencil on there and make sure that your guidelines are um, around the center dot and not the other way around where you're trying to struggle and find you know exactly where the center of the guidelines are to place your center dot <laughs> so I do it backwards it just works really good that way and then I know that guidelines can be tricky to draw on stones so what I suggest is to just draw a little notch at the base of the guideline stencil and then that way if your stencil shifts around a little bit during um, you know drawing on the guidelines you can just line it back up with the little notches where you know that it should be and that just helps to have nice straight guidelines on the stem and there you have it so now for the first row of dots around the center dot I'm going to be using uh, the very smallest tool which is size 34 and it's equal to the very smallest um, nail stylus that you have and I'm going to be placing a dot on each of the guidelines so there will be 12 dots around the center dot now you want to get them as close to the center dot as you can without actually touching it and if they touch well oh well it's okay it's not a big deal you can either clean them up or just move on no one's going to notice that except for you 
All right, and for the next row of dots, we're going to be using tool size 32. And you want to place a dot right in between on the outer edge of each of the previous row of dots, so they're just offset each other. This color is called Dragon Fruit. It is a DecoArt Americana acrylic paint. And the paint before was a folk art brand paint just called Magenta. I'm totally mixing and matching here. That was a multi-surface. This is like a matte paint. Um, so I'm just, just using colors that I like. And for the next row, I'm going to be using tool size 30. Um, it's just a little bit larger. And this paint is called Vivid Violet. It's also a DecoArt Americana acrylic paint. And you're just going to be offsetting the previous row. So it's pretty much the same... Uh, the same steps here. So just right next to but on the outer edge of the previous two dots. And I'm going back in between each of those with the very smallest tool, size 34, um, and just going to place one really small little dot right in between each of the larger dots there. Same vivid violet color. Next size up is going to be size 27, and that is the equivalent of my white jowl, so that's the size that you will need. And I'm going back with the magenta paint here for this next ring of dots, and again just placing a dot right in between each of the previous row of dots, all the way around. And the next tool we're going to use is going to go back to the very smallest tool that you have, um, this is my size 34, and I'm going to be making little tiny dot bridges that go right around the larger dots there. So you just want to start in the center of the outer edge of the large magenta dot, and dot right in the center, and then dot all the way down one side, re-dip your tool, re-dot that center dot, and then dot all the way down to the base of the other side and it winds up giving it a pretty lacy look. All right, for your next size, you're gonna use your uh, pink tool, which is size 25 in the new set, and go ahead and place a dot right in between each of the little pink bridges now. And for your next size up, go ahead and grab your silver tool. Um, it is size 23 from the new set. This is going back with the Vivid Violet color, because I like to repeat my colors at least once, typically, if I can. And we are going to go back and make some little bridges again. So these are going to be the little uh, Vivid Violet bridges, and it's the same size 34. It's the very smallest tool that you have. And just, just like before, start in the center on the outer edge. Work your way down to the base of one side re-dip your tool into paint, and then re-dot your first dot, and then work your way down the other side. And I'm going to put a small magenta dot right in between each of the previous row of pink dots there, just to kind of fill in some of that space. You can really do this however you like. We all have our own little visions for how it should go, so feel free to switch it up however you like. These tools do swipes amazingly, so um, I am going to be adding some swiping now. So I'm going with the magenta color, and this is tool size 31, and I'm just going to be placing my tool down, and then just continuously swiping right on in in between the two little purple bridges there. And then I follow up with the Vivid Violet right next to each of those with size 33 tool which is just a little smaller and make a swipe right next to it to either side of the magenta swipe and i'm going to stick with the swiping because i really like it um, i'm going to go with size 30 now and i'm going to be making a swipe inward towards the large purple dots there and it's going back with the magenta color. And then just like before with the Vivid Violet next, right next to those, we're going to do the same process there. And these swipes will be made with the tool size 32. So just a little bit smaller. And just to either side, just like before. 
And then the next swipe up is going to be with the smallest tool, size 34, and that is with the dragon fruit pink color. Right next to those, just a little smaller, right underneath, all the way around. And I love this effect. I think it is so beautiful. I'm going to go in and finish up this design here with size 29. Um, and a dot of the dragon fruit color right in between each of those little, I don't know, what can we call those? Leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think we should call those little swipe uh, bundles. <laughs> now I have a total thing for color shift paint. I think it's amazing stuff. So I've decided to do some top dots with the uh, color shift paint. Now the first color I'm using is called Pink Flash and I'm using uh, tool size 29 and I'm just placing a dot um, right on all the magenta dots on the stone so the center dot and then the little ring there and then I'm going to go ahead and dot the pink row as well with the pink flash and then after that I'm going to continue on with the color shift because in my opinion you just cannot get enough color shift it adds a shimmer like no other. I'm serious. I love it. Alright, the next color is called Purple Flash. And where do you think it's going? Yep, right on top of the purple dots. Now this is tool size 27. I love the angled aspect of these tools because you can actually see where you're going. I love it. Never knew I needed them, but I needed them. Love them. And I did want to point out that you do want to make sure that your first layer of paint is dry before you try to top dot. Um, and for this last row here, I'm going to use size 33 tool and just put one last little teeny tiny dot on the inner uh, purple ring there. And you're good to go. Now you do want to make sure that the top dots are dry before you try to remove your guidelines, but definitely do remove your guidelines. That it's so easy to forget to do. And then, you know, if you varnish it right now, you're guidelines will be stuck on there forever. So make sure you don't forget that step. If you are new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to check out all of my other videos and step-by-step -step tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. See you real soon.